Hey y'all. Okay y'all, so this week for the vlog is gonna be different. Um, I know I promised you guys I was gonna do a vlog every single week, but I thought that this week we would talk hair. If you guys didn't know, back in the day, at like I'm 50 years old, but back in the day was a licensed cosmetologist and I did hair. It's still a huge love in my life. I literally do my like entire family's hair um, still to this day. I love talking hair. A lot of you guys come to me on Instagram and you send me DMs asking me for um, advice and different products and all kinds of stuff. But something that I have been seeing everywhere on YouTube was this Revlon one something. The box is somewhere. And if you hear this chair, we're gonna ignore it. I still haven't gotten a chair for my studio. <laughs> but um, this is not sponsored. They did not send this to me. Hi, Rosie. Um, they did not send this to me. Paid for it with my own money. And um, I was gonna order it on Amazon to get it in two days, but I still got it in two days with Target. Um, if you pay like over 30 something dollars, you get free shipping and it was two day shipping. Um, they were back ordered on Amazon, but I was able to get it on Target. So I will link it down below if you think that you wanna try this. We are gonna try it for the first time on all of this. So I know I told you guys that I was going naturally curly, blah, 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 whatever. But um, I need to cut my hair. So that's one of the reasons why I'm straightening it. Number two, it's cold and when it's cold outside, I mean, I just don't want my hair wet. I tend to like to let my curly hair air dry um, because I just naturally get so much volume. I don't want extra volume from the diffuser. Um, but I only cut it when it's straightened. Um, I've never got like the Diva cut or anything. I'm kind of on the fence about that. I've already applied all of my like products that I'm going to apply. I'll link some of my favorite ones down below. That was a heat protectant that I just sprayed on it. Very light. But I am going to, because it's taking me so long to actually sit down and start filming this, I am going to dampen my ends a little bit because they are drying some. My roots are still incredibly damp. Very damp. Um, but I want my hair to be nice and wet so that we can get um, the best results possible. So before I shampooed and done all that in my hair, I literally just got that in today and I wanted to test it out just to see what it felt like in my hands, um, how good of tension it had and the heat and everything. My first impression before I even get started um, would definitely have to be that it's kind of loud on the high setting which is normal for like a product like this and it does get hot. It gets very hot but I found that this tip really doesn't get hot so it's not going to when you're going through your hair this isn't going to get hot and like make your hands all wonderful because it does get pretty loud i'm not going to make you guys suffer through this and before we get started i'm paige if you're new here please consider subscribing before you leave why am i so backwards in this video i don't know i guess i'm excited i literally jumped in the shower and washed my hair like about 10 minutes after this came in so let's go ahead and get started everything is pretty well sectioned off and we're gonna time it and see how long. I'm just gonna let the camera go and we'll see exactly how long it takes me to get pretty sleek, dry results all the way throughout. All right. So that's the low setting and that's the high. I'm cold, my service automated like data. All right, so here is my first piece. It took about a minute-ish to do, and <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to smooth out my roots a little bit with a smoothing iron, but they're not terrible. I suck at giving my own self a blowout with a brush and a blow dryer on clients or family or whatever. Pretty good with it, but on myself, I just can't, I don't have <laughs> the upper body strength to be doing that to my own hair, but I mean, can y'all tell, like, <laughs> look at this, look at, I mean, you can obviously see how much shrinkage I have with my naturally curly hair, but I'm impressed. Let's see how long it takes me to get through my entire head.
Coming to the very top section, I had to turn the ceiling fan on because I was getting hot. But um, it's only been 24 minutes, and I technically didn't get started till about like nine minutes and 30 seconds. So if you if you subtract that from 24, that's how long it's taken me, which is blowing my mind. All right, let's split this in half, and let's do this. Reboot, I'm cold red, my service automated Like data running through my veins Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord off Okay, so I haven't touched it with a smoothing iron, flat iron, whatever you guys call it, at all. And I know I'm gonna have to. For one, I just gotta seal my cuticles. That's pretty much what I like to do it for. It's just to seal everything down to keep it nice, frizz free, smooth and straight for a lot longer. Most of the time I can get away with um, like a week two weeks without having to touch it up again um, but I will have to go in to my roots which I knew that going in with this that I wouldn't be able to like really get in there but I will say I got a lot closer than I thought that I would be able to and I think that if I would have taken even smaller sections than what I did I probably could have gotten in there a little bit closer you don't struggle with like really curly <laughs> packed in tight roots um, then you will absolutely love this I mean I absolutely love it because it's going to cut everything in half I'm not going to have to take my time smoothing it out because it's already really smooth it's already really straight so I'm not going to have to like take my time and flat ironing it to make it straight all I'm going to have to do is just seal my cuticles down and just hit up my roots a little bit but I'm probably not even going to smooth it out tonight because I'm just going to probably wrap it up or something and go to sleep with it and then only put some more heat on it when I necessarily have to. So when we're getting ready to leave the house, I would definitely make sure and um, just seal everything over with the flat iron. But as far as the way it feels, it feels really good. I've been struggling with some damage and some unevenness and definitely breakage, which is why I decided to start wearing my hair a little bit more, you know, not putting so much heat on it. I can already tell some spots that were 
broken off and it's probably from the lightener that I decided to put on it. I should have stayed dark. I should not have added anything else in it. Has anybody done that and you just totally regretted it after? Especially after seeing some pictures, I think from this time last year, my hair was jet black. I'm naturally like a level five. I'm actually naturally like a redhead. I'll pop up a picture right here so that you guys can, um, you can see that and know that I'm not telling a lie. That was in the second grade when I tell people that I'm a natural redhead, they're like, what? Um, but not like red red. I mean, it's just like a really reddish brown. Um, so anytime my hair, you color anything, it always turns back a really warm red. Um, so my hair hasn't been colored or touched up or anything in probably two months, but I'm really debating on slapping a black like all over it and just starting back over. I know, I don't know. Um, but I just feel like that um, the balayage treatment definitely just like ruined my ends. Most of my hair is pretty fragile, I would say. So that's definitely not one of the smartest ideas I've ever had. But uh, my overall first impression of the Revlon One Step Volumize, what you call it, um, I think it was amazing. One out of 10, I would definitely give it probably a nine. It does get pretty hot and it's loud, especially like if you're right there at your ear trying to get, I mean, it's pretty loud. The low setting is a lot quieter. Um, the cool setting's just as loud as the high setting. So if you wanted to give like your ends like a cool shock just to lock in that um, bend or you know, where you're like blowing it out at the end, you could definitely do that. Um, you just gotta like maneuver it, make sure you hit over to the cool, but it took me probably 20, 25 minutes. I will definitely continue to use this when I straighten my hair. Like I said, I'm trying not to do as much heat. This will definitely help me not do as much heat because I'm not gonna have to go in and put so much like direct heat with my smoothing iron, if you get what I'm saying. But I'm gonna quit rambling. I want you guys to comment down below what is your favorite must have hair tool that you got. Maybe it's a product that you want to share. Maybe it's something like this or maybe you've tried this and you loved it or you hated it. Comment down below and let me know if you loved it or you hated it or if you're wanting one. Like I said, I'm going to link it in the description along with some of my favorite hair products that I just live for. But if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I know this was different this week for vlog is technically not a vlog. I had to share this. I was really excited about it and you guys always ask about hair stuff so I thought I would bring this to you this week. We'll see how you enjoy it and I will see you in the next one y'all. Have a beautiful and blessed day.